hi guys how are you doing welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is Emma Mumbo and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for clicking on this video on today's episode we are still house we are house hunting so i'm going to be showing you two houses in the same building one is a bed sitter and the other one is a one bedroom so in this building you'll only pay for it's a rental house these are rental houses you'll only pay for electricity and uh service charge which is trash and security but you will not pay for water water is given for free so the houses are located on gesora road so you get in through shooters in utawala and you'll be able to find your way so i'll link the number of the caretaker on the description box just in case you're interested so yeah guys let's get into it i hope you will enjoy and if you've not subscribed please don't forget to subscribe So guys, we will first start by looking at the bed sitter and this is how it looks like when you walk in. This is the, you know, living space as well as the bed space. You have a large window that brings in natural lighting and I feel like this is spacious enough because this can fit a couch and bed. And then you have a large closet fitted with a mirror and you know, you have other storage space up there and this is how the space looks like really matters if you're not mine right here right now and even if the world ends then i'll be fine no fear no doubt i know a place that sneak away leave the pain i'll stay with you So next we'll look at the kitchen so when you leave the living room space then you get to the kitchen this is how the kitchen looks like you have a separate kitchen space you have a sink and then on top of it you have your cabinets there's a large window bringing in natural lighting under the sink you have more storage so this is the kitchen space Then next we have the bathroom so there is the shower head and then you have your toilet it's a combined washroom you have a window that is bringing in light and then on the other side you have your sink i get so caught up in the middle thinking of drowning Next, we're going to be looking at the one bedroom apartment. So when you walk into the one bedroom apartment, this is the living room space. And uh, on your left, you have a large window as well, fitted with curtain rods that brings in natural lighting. There you have your socket uh, placed. And then this is the living room space. I can hide what this is. Oh, yeah, I keep drowning in those blue eyes. And you can tell me all of your lies. I will put out all of the fire if it gets too dark. Oh, I'll be your light. So next, we have the kitchen for the one bedroom. This is how the kitchen looks like. Right from the living room space, you walk into your kitchen. The kitchen has a large window, which also brings in natural lighting. So you have enough lighting in this house. And then up there, you have your cabinets. And then under that, you have your sink and a little counter space. This is your tub, which, is, which has water. And then under the sink as well, you have more storage and this is a spacious kitchen because it has you know where you can put your fridge as well as your cooker oh, oh. Yeah, I keep 
can tell me all of your lies I will put out all of the fire If it gets too dark Next we look at the combined bathroom and this is how it looks like. You have your sink right here and then next to the sink up there you can fit in your mirror if you want to. And then it has a toilet as well as a shower head so this is how it looks like. you can just see from how it looks like it is so big it is a huge bedroom and then there is your mirror that's me. and then there's your closet that is how the bedroom looks like So next we have the rooftops with the hanging line space so this is where you can hang your clothes after you've done your laundry and you also get a beautiful view from up here as well as just in case you have a birthday party or any you know party you can set it up here so that you know you can enjoy yourself next I'll show you the parking space and uh, for the prizes the bed sitter goes for 9,000 Kenya shillings per month and the one bedroom goes for 15,000 Kenya shillings per month I leave the details of the agent on the description box just in case you are interested You will have it there. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you've not subscribed Please subscribe and engage in the comment section. Let me know how what you think about this video and Any requests that you have otherwise guys don't also forget to leave a like 